What's going on guys, Pinecone LP here, and today we are checking out Purity Vanilla. I've been looking for a server like this for so long, and what's so great about this server is that it's griefing is allowed, PvP is allowed, I think basically everything is allowed, but what's important is that hacking is not allowed. So it's not like 2B2T Anarchy where everything is just like completely destroyed, just a complete mess. And what I also like is that it's not like most servers where you have this pay to win crate nonsense. It's just straight up Minecraft. So we're gonna check out the server, set up a base somewhere, and survive. That's the goal. It's kinda tough getting out of spawn. I didn't think it would be this hard. We'll keep on moving. So yeah, the spawn is actually kinda like 2B2T, honestly. Well, maybe not anymore. I haven't played on that server in like a year. Oh, look at this, we have emergency food. Maybe I could wait for some of that. That wouldn't be a bad idea, because I can't imagine there's going to be anything around here anytime soon. But, you know what? We're survivors. We're just going to keep on moving. I think this is where I want to be. I'm just going to walk on this path right here. And just get as far away from spawn as possible. Okay, hopefully this is the path out of spawn. This is not bad, actually. That, was, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So one thing that's cool about this server is that a lot of people play. We're up to 74 players online. The one thing that is kind of unfortunate is there was a queue, but it's not like extremely long. I was only in the queue for like 5 or 10 minutes, so not as bad as other servers. Alright, good news is that we are out of spawn. Bad news is that I am like super low on food, and there's nothing out here. So what I'm thinking for a base is that I don't actually want to be like hundreds of thousands of blocks away from spawn because if I wanted to do that I would just go play single player or something so what I want to do is just stay relatively close to spawn so I can get on on some action if I want to but far away enough so that my base doesn't get raided and I don't lose all my stuff that is one of my goals for this series I want to find some action do some pvp get some good gear and not just be some kind of random guy thousands of hundreds of thousands of blocks out in the wilderness. I want to actually make this entertaining. Yo, free stuff. Oh my god. I will gladly take this. We got wood now. We have a sword. That's not bad. We didn't get food. Well, we got a spider eye. We could eat that if it, if it gets that bad, but hopefully we don't have to. Not a bad start. I like finding free things. Oh, I didn't realize, but we also have sugarcane. That could be super useful. I don't know how rare that is, but I don't think I've seen any around here. I mean, obviously in normal Minecraft, it's not rare at all, but this is like a completely dilapidated world. You never know what you're going to find. Like, here's a horse right now. Like, look at this. We found a horse. I don't have a saddle, but maybe I should kill it. I don't know. I would feel so bad. All right, so I randomly picked up this leather. Oh, I could get fish. Is there any fish in here? That's one of the nice new things about Minecraft is that all of these rivers, oceans, they have so many fish in there, and fish is a pretty good source of food once you cook it, or I could even eat it raw, because right now I just need anything. Usually there's fish, I don't know where the heck the fish are. Yes, trees, finally. All right, this is a really good sign, because my eyes were starting to hurt really bad since spawn just looks so terrible. This is starting to actually look like Minecraft again. Oh, also I just realized there's no setting home, teleporting, warps, or anything like that. So that's another reason I don't want to go super far away from spawn. Although I could just sleep in a bed and that would be fine, so maybe it would be okay. Either way, I'm trying to stay a little bit close. Bad news, it is almost nighttime, and this server is hard mode. Of course, that's no challenge for me. I've been playing Minecraft since like 2010, I guess? Super long time, way before, or way back in beta. Oh, here's a chicken. Okay. That's a good sign. We're gonna live. Oh, look at this. Cows? Pigs? What the heck? I did not expect to find any of this when we're still pretty close to spawn. But that's good. We finally have food. I almost don't want to eat it. I feel like I should cook it. Oh, more chickens. Okay, we're gonna be fine on food. Here's some pigs over here. Plenty of mobs. Now, once you get, like, a couple thousand blocks away from spawn everything is okay nothing like 2b2t so far other than like the first well not even spawn i don't think spawn is as bad as 2b2t right now 
Okay, we got some furnaces. This is actually good because I want to cook my food, so I think I'm going to do that. We'll just throw some logs in here because we don't have any coal. And now we are going to be 100% food. So we are surviving and we are thriving. Oh, look at this. We found a pretty... All right, this is not a pretty serious base. I thought it was. But there is furnaces. There's a chest. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, lapis. Not bad. Always use lapis. Iron. And a bed. Okay, a bed is good. I like having beds. Coal. We don't have coal. And we'll take these blocks. We don't really have any blocks yet. And a bow. Not bad. Okay. So good thing I checked this out. I didn't really expect to find anything there, but I will gladly take these scraps. Oh my god, look at this. Gigantic wheat farm. I actually don't want to grief things. So I'm not going to like... If I har I'm going to harvest this and actually replant. Uh, armor. Okay, we don't have any armor yet, so that's useful. Just leather. It's so funny, we have all this stuff. We have not done anything yet. Uh, seeds, I might need them. Probably not. I'm just like taking random stuff fishing rod because i use a fishing rod sure why not wood we don't have much wood this is fun just finding all this like random stuff out here how has no one looted this okay so i didn't feel like harvesting all the wheat but we do have two stacks of wheat so that's plenty of bread for now that'll get us through on our adventure before we settle down oh i didn't realize there's a saddle on this horse oh my god this is awesome! I don't know if I mentioned this, but this server is 1.16, so they got the new nether stuff. Of course, I doubt they reset the nether. Well, I don't know, they might have actually reset the nether, because most people don't really care if the nether gets reset, so they could have new stuff. I'm pretty excited to hide a base, actually. I used to play hardcore factions back in the day, and that was one of my favorite things, just having a base hidden and trying to stay secret and then going out and fighting every once in a while too, so hoping to get that same vibe on this server as well. Oh, look at this, Lapis Blocks. Of course, Lapis isn't that great. Like, eventually we'll probably have like 100 blocks of it, but, you know, we're poor right now, we'll take what we can get. Alright, so we are now a couple 10,000 or so blocks away from spawn, so I might have gone a little bit too far, but there's always nether travel, so it's okay. Not going to be playing like single player. So I am going to be digging up a base around here. I don't want to show where I'm doing it on camera because I need it I need to be hidden. It needs to be a secret. So I'm going to dig that out and we will start setting up a base. Oh my god, I almost just fell to my death. What the heck? There's as they say, never dig straight down, but guess what? I did it. And I almost died. So I I'm not going to say lesson learned because I'm definitely going to do it again but that was pretty scary and there's like mobs around here I easily could have died there but you know all is good oh god we got a lot of zombies here oh this is not good oh my god this is really not good what the frick okay get some chicken jeez what the heck okay let's just build up <laughs> oh my god, we easily almost died there. This is bad. There's a lot of zombies. My sword was not doing anything. We need to, like, get away from this ravine. Okay, so we should have the zombies all blocked up in there. So that's good for now. Let's keep on healing. Stupid zombies, jeez. I hope there's, like, a spawner around here. That'd be awesome. I mean, there could be. We gotta explore this cave probably mine all this stuff too trying to just set up this little bunker get a base starting stay underground stay hidden look at me digging straight down again all right so we're finally low enough in my opinion gonna have to clean up this ladder right here put some walls up here we don't even have enough cobblestone to be doing this yet so we gotta start mining but we're gonna get some cobble just from digging out of room down here so that'll be nice and we're gonna start setting up our base all right this is good that we found iron because i'm already sick of using a stone pickaxe so let's go ahead and just smelt this asap let's just throw it out a bunch of stuff unload our inventory 
There we go, we got some light too. Got to make sure I keep things bright while I'm recording. Hopefully you guys can see. Alright, so we're sleeping. The respawn point is set, so we're all good. This is our base for now. Gonna have to clean this up, dig out a little bit more space. Start getting a farm going too. Let's get some light in here. I'm already sick of the dark. Make some torches. Make this feel like home. Alright, we'll throw those up. That's good enough for now. And that's actually where I'm going to wrap up this episode. So be sure to check out the server. And be sure to leave a like or subscribe. Stay tuned for the series. Going to be doing some exciting stuff here on Purity Vanilla. Peace out, guys.